We're going to figure out who is going to be our JoJo's next top model. And our contestants are... <laughs> so here are all of our JoJo's. I got to type in a randomizer. Click to spin. We're going to see who goes up against you. Okay, our first contestant is... Josuke 2.0. I like that it's clapping. <laughs> Josuke versus... Who... Big money... What? Alright, it's Joseph... Versus Josuke 2.0. So we got these two right away. All right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them. And then you guys can vote on which one of these boys you want to keep or which one you want to eat. Who's gonna be the next top model? Already, I feel like, like modeling poses, like just modeling poses, I feel like Josuke's got it with that modeling pose. <laughs> Literally every face you see on the screen right now is Jojo, except for me, I'm not a Jojo. We're gonna talk about Josuke so he can win your hearts over. So it says, Josuke is a young, physically fit man of average height. Okay, so he's a short king. That's pretty cool, keep that in mind. We got ourselves a short king. Uh, Josuke has dementia. All right, he's got a star-shaped birthmark on his shoulder. They all have that, by the way. Uh, well, not all of them, but they should have all of that. They all should have a, a star birthmark. That's the Joe star birthmark. Um. He has two sets of irises, <laughs> two tongues, all joined as one, differing in texture and color. Yasuo mentions how he resembles her dog, Josuke. So that's how he got the name Josuke. All right, so that's about Josuke. <laughs> all right, Jonathan, or sorry, Joseph, 2.0. This is Joseph right here, Joseph. He is a polite teenager who doesn't hesitate to help an elderly woman retrieve her stolen luggage from a thief. He formally refers um, Lucy as Madam before learning her name and cares for her well-being. Wait, I read that really weird. He formally for, refers to her as Lucy or refers to Lucy as Madam before learning her real name and cares for her well-being. When she starts coughing, his concerns for Lucy's health extends as far as traveling back with her to America to make sure she would be okay on her voyage and flight. He is also knowledgeable of Morio's history and landmarks. Okay, so... <laughs> these two boys... <laughs> please vote. Vote. Vote who you think should win. Vote who you think should continue on. Who are we gonna keep and who are we gonna eat? You're gonna go for two. Okay, we got two votes for one. One vote for two. Anyone else want to put in their votes? Oh, we got another two votes. Morio. One. Oh my gosh. How many ones we got? One, two, three. We have a winner. Okay, we're gonna have to delete him now. Goodbye. We've got. Joseph versus Jodio. Okay. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. So we've got Joseph versus Jodio. Jodio. Jodio Joestar is a teenager with materialistic outlook um who lives a life of petty crime as a small-time hoodlum in Hawaii. <laughs> In his childhood, Jodio was diagnosed as possibly having antisocial personality disorder. A test revealed several traits such as impulsiveness and the inability to feel remorse. As a matter of fact, his personality generally aligns with the diagnosis. He is rather reserved and a solitaire, sol solid, solid, solitary, solitary, I think it's a game, solitaire, solitaire, oh my gosh, Sol <laughs> I can't even English. Apart from his family, he doesn't seem to have any close friends. In fact, he is ex he is explicitly declares that he isn't going to school to make friends, though he still seems to think of himself as fairly likable and sociable. Okay, Joseph's personality. 
Uh, Joseph is a young, hot-headed, <laughs> and confrontational young man, quick to violently, violently respond to the slightest, um... Why can't I say this word? Why can't I say it? Basically, he responds abruptly. Um, Joseph would often get into brawls growing up prior to the events of the story. He had been imprisoned seven times and expelled <laughs> once from school for fighting, having no respect for authority, save, <laughs> save, um, authority, safe of his grandmother's, um, and later Lisa Lisa's. Joseph has an antagonized policemen, mafias, what? Okay, so he's antagonized the policemen, the mafioso alike, notably taught cars, notably taunted cars when he launched him into space, claiming to have again planned everything from the beginning just to antagonize him one last time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so he's worse than Giorno. Yeah, he is. Who has no empathy, sympathy, and has no remorse. Sounds like a supermodel to me. Oh no. Okay, so type one in chat for Joseph and two for our boy Jodio. Jodio. I feel like they most they both misbehave. Okay, our winner is Joseph. Goodbye, Jodio. No, you have to delete him. Adios, Jodios. Our winner is Joseph. Going on to the next round to be JoJo's next top model. We got Josuke. No, Joseph? Okay. Oh, Joseph 2.0. Okay. So, Josuke's personality. At first impression, strangers often are intimidated by Josuke's delinquent appearance and hot headedness. With, uh, Jotaro, with Jotaro Kujo's and Koichi Hiro's both thinking Josuke was scary when initially encountering him. Indeed, he ha indeed his delinquent attitude is conveyed through his rough language. He does not always display the difference towards adult, adult authority figure- uh, <laughs> Towards adults and authority figures typically expected of Japanese teenagers, opting for a casual and straightforward tone. However, he is independently apparent. It is independently apparent that Josuke has a deep capacity for kindness, with his anger simply being an expression of his tendency to display emotions openly and passionately. He is an outgoing. His outgoing and friendly nature allows him to be friend. Uh, and allows him to befriend many stand users over the course of the story, converting enemies into allies. These bonds strengthen his resolve to protect the town of Morio and the people he loves. He loves. Wow. So that is Josuke. And then Josuke 2. Point, or Joseph 2.0. We they didn't really say much about him. Except for he's a polite teenager that doesn't hesitate to help an elderly an elderly woman. Um, retrieve her stolen luggage from a thief. We kinda already did that one, but Everyone type one, one for Josuke, two for Joseph. Our winner is Josuke. One has to go. I'm sorry, Josuke. Or sorry, Joseph 2.0. He has been deleted from the roster. Okay, our next contestants are... Jorno. Jorno versus Jolene. We forgot to read about their personalities. <laughs> okay, Jolene's personality. Here we go. Flighty? Jolene is our girl here. Okay, so Jolene's personality is... Flighty, abrupt, and snappy with her elders. Jolene, during her adolescence, would undoubtedly be considered a delinquent and a lost cause. Bitter at Jotaro... Oh, she's Jotaro's daughter, by the way. Bitter at Jotaro for being an absent father. She tried multiple times to catch her father's attention by committing various minor crimes and was arrested several times as a result. Because of her father's absence, Jolene was said to be dependent on the affection and approval of the men around her. And she's 
and she was ready to cover Romeo's accident, resulting in her being sentenced 15 years in prison for it. Okay, so <laughs> why is everyone a delinquent? <laughs> They're all delinquents. They're all lost causes. It's kind of sad. Okay, Giorno. I like Jolene. She is misunderstood. And Jotaro's a bad father. Kind of messed up. And all hot-headed. They are all hot-headed. Okay, Giorno's personality. So Giorno, this boy here. Giorno's childhood was filled with unhappiness and loneliness due to bullying and the abuse of his stepfather. As a result, he was initially cold and uncaring towards everyone he believed to be scum. Just for the way people treated him. Those that knew him would easily think he'd, gr he'd grow up to be a twisted individual. <laughs> thing everyone's like that guy's and literally everyone at school's like that guy's gonna grow up to be a serial killer that's so sad um this changed when he befriended an injured gangster he saved as the man protected Jorno from those that did him wrong in return for his aid he learned that he could trust people since then he has become a more confident and social person yeah it wasn't her fault yeah i know it wasn't her fault she went to prison she went to prison multiple or she went to jail multiple times for like smaller crimes but she went to prison because of romeo romeo's so one for jolene two for Jorno. hey google set a two minute timer all right our winner is jolene i love jolene i love Jorno too but but it is kind of scary, honestly, how everyone in high school is like, that Jorno kid, he's gonna grow up to be a serial killer. That's kind of sad. Okay, we're gonna delete. <laughs> delete. No more golden wind. Okay, we got Jotaro versus Jonathan? Alright. Okay. Two, one. Okay, Jotaro's personality. Jotaro is introduced as rough, violent, delinquent, but he has a gentle heart and he is loyal to those he likes. He is highly perceptive, intelligent, and quick-witted while keeping a perpetually cool, slightly neutral, and disinterested attitude. He has the habit of muttering, give me a break, yada yada. Um, to himself to express annoy annoyance towards other ordeals or other events that happen close to him. To this point, it has become his signature catchphrase. Whoa, you guys are all voting for Jonathan. Okay, okay Jonathan. So we learned about Jotaro. So Jonathan, during his childhood, Jonathan was a proud and mischievous yet gentle or yet gentle, despite already aspiring to be a true gentleman, Jonathan lacked manners and mostly behaved like a normal child. His mother having died before he could remember her and his fellow boys ostracizing him because of his status left Jonathan somewhat lonely. Well, at first Jonathan didn't have his future strength of will, Dio unwittingly became the catalyst of his growth by pushing him to the edge and humiliating his girlfriend, Arena. However, he did have the kindness and courage to immediately jump to Arena's rescue against two bullies bigger than him despite not knowing her. So that's Jonathan. We need one more vote. One more vote. Somebody vote. Hey Google, set a two minute timer. Well, crazy enough, Jotaro has lost. We must delete him. You are the weakest model. Goodbye. Our winner from sheer pose alone okay our next contestant is jonathan again jonathan versus jolene okay vote one for jolene or two for jonathan i think we have a clear winner here too goodbye johnny okay we got johnny versus joseph okay okay Johnny versus Joseph. All right. Hey, Johnny's personality. 
Johnny Joestar is introduced as a distant, depressive, paraplegic man whose career as a horse jockey was ruined when he was shot in the spine after um, antagonizing a passerby. However, after he momentarily experiences the ability to stand on his feet after touching the balls of steel, the <laughs> of Gyro Zapelli. Okay, this is really so. Gyro has these balls made of steel, and they spin. And he touched one, and he was able to stand on his feet after touching it. Um, he becomes determined to follow Gyro through his guidance, learn the spin for himself. Later, having his legs twitch due to the corpse parts. He additionally sets out to acquire them despite the many other murderous pursuers of the same goal. So that's Johnny's backstory. Okay, so it's a whole thing. So Jojo Part 7 is only, it's not an anime yet, it's only a manga. Basically, this boy, he's a paraplegic, he doesn't, he can't walk, he was a horse jockey, he, but he became paraplegic, he meets uh, Gyro, um, he's able to stand on his feet for a few seconds, they discover, like, the corpse of Jesus, <laughs> and then they start traveling across America, and it's, it's very confusing. Anyways, who is the next top model? We've got... Let me see. Let me put in here. Right. Johnny? And... Right here is good? Yeah. Alright. Vote one or two. Who? I would have voted Johnny. <laughs> Goodbye, Johnny. You are not our next top model. Goodbye. We've got three contestants left. Who's gonna be JoJo's next top model? Jolene! Jolene versus Joseph. She is the only girl and she is some of the last three contestants. Hey, Google, set a three minute timer or two minute timer. Right, no, minutes. dang it. Our boy Joseph with that pose. What is that pose like? I'm not good at posing like him. Jolene's pose is like, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Maybe I should have put a more flattering photo of her. It's less intimidating. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Hey, Google, stop the timer. Goodbye, Jolene. Now, that means blast off. We've got just two left. We've got Josuke versus Joseph. Joseph? Two on Joseph. Man, Joseph is... He's a- okay, it's actually pretty appropriate because I feel like he's a heartthrob in the anime as well because he does cheat on his wife and that's how he exists. He cheats on his Italian wife with this woman he meets in, Jap in Japan and then that's like 20 years younger than him <laughs> and, then, and then Joseph- or Josuke's born. He was a heartthrob. Oh man, I didn't think- I didn't think he would win. I didn't think he'd win the hearts of everyone else. Holy cow, people don't even watch Jojo and they're like, that guy? I like him. He did beat up some cops. He did. He did. Oh, wait, let me recount the votes. That was Joseph. Okay, there's a tie. What are we gonna do about this? <laughs> I don't wanna be the tiebreaker. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna be the next model? Hold on, I'll use the will. I'll use the will to choose. And it will tell us if Josuke or Joseph is the winner. Joseph. Joseph is the winner. Oh my gosh. Goodbye, Josuke. Our winner is... Oh, well, that's big. <laughs> Our ultimate model for Jojo is Joseph. The ultimate heartthrob. Every woman loves him. Every man loves him. 
Everybody loves him. Apparently. He <laughs> wins. He's got those fox eyes. Isn't, it, isn't that what they say on TikTok? You need, you need those, like, fox eyes. He's got the fox eyes, the TikTok boy hair, the red jacket. He's a gentleman, kind of. He's British. We have our top model. That was fun. Thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, goodbye.